think people are becoming increasingly aware of the important role that ocean can play and does play. We're seeing the conversation around plastics. We're seeing the conversation around species protection, the conversation around coastal communities and acidification and sea level rise. We're seeing that in the conversation around extreme weather conditions that we're seeing across the country and around the world, and also the importance of contributing to, uh, to potential solutions. So Canada's Ocean Supercluster now has a membership of over 500 members across the country, which is incredibly exciting. We've got members from coast to coast to coast, and those members span across government and academia, large companies and small companies and investors, and really working together and committed to uh, being able to build an ocean economy that is much more digital, sustainable, and inclusive. We have over 70 projects that have been approved, anywhere from under a million dollars to $65 million. What excites me about Canada's Ocean Supercluster is both the power of bringing the country together and raising the awareness around uh, our role as an ocean nation and our leadership role in, in really driving the ocean conversation to see the solutions that we can build and, and be able to tackle really important challenges for the world, whether that is food security, whether that is decarbonization, um, whether that is uh, carbon capture and, and, and environmental monitoring. There's just so much opportunity and we're just really scratching the surface of what we can do. Our mission is to advance Indigenous participation in Canada's blue economy and we want to be the most advanced Indigenous maritime services company in the country. It's fundamentally important that we protect our resource, that we understand our resource and how quickly it's changing. So both of our projects, smart marine coatings, are really predominantly focused at greenhouse gas reduction efforts. We know that's a global effort. Everybody has a role to play in that. If we collectively as a marine industry can rip out two, three, four percent of our emissions through uh, the marine transportation uh, networks all around the world, it's massive. Canada's Ocean Supercluster has been really rewarding to participate in. And through the Supercluster, we're seeing the best technology in the world. We're a marine geophysics company working internationally in seafloor minerals, uh, offshore uh, energy, and offshore renewables. We apply a lot of electromagnetic and magnetic techniques. And one of the ones that we're really excited about and is really interesting is some of our our systems like our, what we call our hypermag, which is a magnetic vector gradiometer that is used for detection and characterization of unexploded ordnance and underwater munitions, as well as for tracking and tracing seafloor cables and pipelines. It's very important for us to understand our oceans. We have a big impact on our oceans and our, and our oceans have a huge impact on us. So obviously the more we know about it, the more we understand our, our environment. Robotic systems, uh, autonomous underwater vehicles, uh, uncrewed surface vessels, and, and a variety of other uh, systems in between all offer us an amazing opportunity to go out and map and, and get a better understanding of our ocean and the seafloor and the subsurface. Canada's Ocean Supercluster has helped us advance uh, both our partnerships with Canadian companies and our exposure to international markets. Partnering with X-Ocean, Voyas, Telezancaris has exposed us to new clients, new opportunities, uh, and, and new partnerships with other companies, both within Canada and outside. At this fish, our mission is really to drive profitability and sustainability in the seafood industry through better data. Basically digital, real-time, and actionable. And we do this by providing software and artificial intelligence to the seafood processing sector. We basically allow them to digitize and automate all their data collection in real-time on the factory floor using IoT devices and tablet computers. So in many respects, seafood is the perfect problem for artificial intelligence. And that's because there's lots of natural variability in the seafood that we catch out of the ocean. Different sizes, different species, different seasonality. And as a result, it's really difficult for seafood processors to predict production and quality outcomes. So what we're doing is using big data sets from these processors and analyzing it using machine learning algorithms to better predict what the quality and production outcomes will be. 
Being a member of Canada's Ocean Supercluster has helped us in two fundamental ways. Uh, first, it's provided us with seed funding to start our research and development into AI, and that was critical. Without that funding, we wouldn't have been able to get started. And second, it's really allowed us to collaborate with our industry partners. These industry partnerships are critical because we need data in order to do AI research, and it's industry that has the data. So through the Ocean Supercluster, we've been able to collaborate with our industry partners and use their data to really develop cutting-edge AI for the seafood processing sector. Smart Ice is a work integrated social enterprise and community based organization that empowers communities to make more informed decisions when traveling on the sea ice. So we provide communities with the opportunities to uh, take part in training and uh, learn how to assemble and operate our technology and deploy the technology themselves and we provide them with the tools and the supports that they need uh, to run the program. Climate change is impacting uh, those communities because of warming temperatures, thinning sea ice, slushy conditions. It's very dangerous uh, travel conditions for those communities. Uh, those communities rely on the sea ice uh, for many aspects of their life, for traveling, for hunting and fishing. It's very important to work with those communities to help them uh, adapt to climate change. There is a lot of challenges facing our ocean. We definitely need to be having these conversations quickly and developing these solutions, but I think there is tremendous opportunity going forward. I think there's exciting opportunities for Canadians and Canadian companies. We're just starting to see that. And also tremendous opportunity for us to work together across geographies to be able to solve the challenges that our ocean faces.